don't ask for a lot here at TV Sins. I mean, if there's one thing people say about us, it's that we're super easygoing and considerate. But do you really expect us not to mention how unevenly you're wearing these fucking bracelets right now? This show makes it seem so easy to make a glass sing like this, but every time I try to do it, I just get wet fingers. Why is rimming so hard? It is called rimming, right? Glassholes. Also, taking your love of Annie Lennox many, many literal steps too far. I'll take it over a previously on, but after this intro, I'm seriously going to struggle to concentrate on anything other than Ethan Hawke's feet. And I already lose my Thursdays to that. I mean, he'd love to get out there, but it's a bit hard with one fin, isn't it? Yes, because the world is rife with fully finned fish jumping free of their perspex prisons and living their best lives for approximately 30 seconds until they drown in oxygen. Still selling the old brushes and brooms, right? Right in front of my entrance. Oh well, yeah, because you refuse to acknowledge that he also sells a single rake. No wonder the guy never leaves. Also, let's go ahead and address the Dick Van Dyke-shaped elephant in the room that's Oscar's British accent. Sure, it might be a purposeful character thing, but I've heard some people say it's good, and I've heard some people say it's bad. So I went straight to my friend from England to see what he thought, and he said, It's rubbish. That means trash in Englandese. So how could I not sin it? This student treats the museum display as her own personal rubbish bin, and the only consequence she faces for a pyramid scheme is to be educated. Do you want entitled ants? This is how you get entitled ants. If this is some weird audition to tour guide here, the answer's still no. <laughs> right, because who'd want a tour guide that knows what they're talking about? Tour guides just need to be able to know how to point the way to the gift shop and completely ignore my question about if impressionists were sellouts, because they only did it for the Monet. Everyone knows this. Not telling the couple whose picture you're taking about the terrible backlighting problem in the shot. Obviously can't have ankle restraints on a bed, can I? That's a definition of a red flag, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of a gray area, actually. Presumably, the tape's there to show if Mark left his apartment in his sleep. But if Sleep Steven has the awareness to unbolt the door and walk somewhere, wouldn't it be safe to assume that he also has the awareness to retape the door and replace any displaced sand? Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. Let's start with trying to solve a puzzle. Or let's start with not being in the place where sleep happens. Surrender the body to Mark. My name is not Mark in this scene. Uh, the idiot's in control. The first Wednesday of November, every four years, without fail. Don't just stand there. Run! Moon Knight Venom so hard that I'm half expecting Oscar Isaac to find a lobster tank to climb into any second now. When someone tells me they don't believe we're living in a simulation, I think I should just tell them that both Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke are in the same Marvel TV show. There is not a believable world where this seems possible. So I'm sending whoever wrote this simulation for making it a little too obvious. But the scales see everything. Perhaps it's something that lies ahead. As the dead for know it society here, Minority reports this poor woman, I have to ask two questions. First, why would anyone volunteer to do this when the outcome is at best being told you have a good person's face and the other choice is to die on the spot for crimes you may not have even committed yet? And two, how great was that dead for know it society joke? I mean, come on. Dear God, did he just turn that lady into a raisin? My childhood fear of the raisin brand sun mascot turning people into raisins is flooding back into my mind. Two scoops! Do I have a meat? Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Funny, yes, but what about the guy who's still standing in Stephen Neal's? How do you know it wasn't him? I'm trying to get back home, back to London. London. If you were trying to find your way home, don't you think you'd be moving away from the crowd or running down the street to get yourself away from the bad guys? Why are protagonists always drawn to the danger? Plot magnets. How do they work? So strange. Moon Knight upgrades so hard that I'm half expecting Oscar Isaac to find a kitchen knife and bifurcate someone's face with it, beating six people bloody in front of a child. You think Mark looked back at the kid and said, want to see something cool before spiking the skull of a goon onto the cobblestone right in front of her eyes? I mean, if we're destroying innocence, we might as well be thorough. Jeez, Marvel, you cut that action scene to death so much that I have no clue what even happened here. Oh, God. Steven's immediate reaction isn't, Core blimey, Gov, what happened to me old meat hook? <laughs> what is his order of cupcakes doing in the middle console of the truck? You look like you have plenty of room back there, which means the truck driver was planning on eating an order. <gasps> I knew it. Wasn't there some sort of horror movie where there's this log truck that resulted in a bunch of deaths? Can't remember what it was called, but I'm just saying this episode keeps emulating movie after movie, and I'm just wondering what the final destination is for all these ripoffs. Just a note on human psychology, if you were to pass out and wake up driving a vehicle backward, you wouldn't have time to process that consciously before your brain had already instantly been overwhelmed and shut down your motor functions. My point is this moment would not result in an adjustment period, it would result in a Steven is instantly dead and mangled at the bottom of a ravine period. Deus Ex Lagina. Steven wakes up here and is eventually relieved to learn it was all a dream. Except it wasn't a dream at all. So where did the injury on Steven's hand go? And why isn't his jaw causing him all sorts of Michael Caine? 
There's no way he spotted that fish was a discount Gus from that distance as it was swimming around the tank. You think you can do these things, but you just can't, Steve-o. Today, what do you see? I see two. Two fins. Yeah, sorry. Joe completely ignores the caudal, pectoral, dorsal, and anal fins. That's right. Goldfish have anal fins. Look, as I said, they've all got two fins. Not finding Nemo. Hunt and peck phone control. For the love of efficiency, people, the Verizon gods gave you thumbs for a reason. Use them. I ate steak by myself, thanks. Two days ago. If Steven hasn't been in touch with unnamed love interest, how did he even know where to go for the date? Was best steakhouse in town really enough to go on? Also, does she not have his number? Does he not have a single voicemail or pissed off message from her? I'll, uh, I'll put you for well done. Scene does not contain a... Right? Ironic that being knighted makes you lose your English accent. Steven, stop looking. I've put it off as long as possible, but this show is fresh, interesting, quirky, spooky, and different than anything the MCU has ever done. And I can feel my mirror mark taking over just to take a cent off. Stealing your spooking techniques from library haunting ghosts in the 80s. For some inexplicable reason, Steven chooses the slowly descending metal box with only one exit instead of the stairs as his method of escape. Also, I wouldn't take this lift even if my life wasn't in danger. This thing looks like it hasn't been touched by an engineer in decades, has witnessed multiple homicides, and is on the CDC shortlist of locations likely to start the next pandemic. Oh my god, he's real. Why was he hanging out on the same bus as Steven? He knows where Steven works, so it's not like he needs to follow him. Who takes the bus when they don't even need to? I'm just watching Otter videos again. Wait, is this all JB does? Steven can't see his screen, so Otter videos seem like a pretty wild guess unless this is something JB is famous for. What's a big deal anyway? They're just furry little water. Oh, look at him cuddling his traffic cone. Consider this. Had Ahmed been free, she would have prevented Hitler and the destruction he wrought. Using her powers to stop Hitler cliche. By even her own avatar. Avatars. Mm -hmm. Blue people. Love that film. By avatar. You mean that? I mean. Anime. Starting with the blue people instead of the greatest show in the history of Nickelodeon. I saw you kill that woman in the Alps. It's been three days and you still haven't reported this to the law? I mean, not that the police in this universe would believe a story of discount Kevin Bacon turning people into raisins somewhere in Europe, but it's worth a try. How exactly did he clear out this entire room for this moment? Wasn't this all taking place in the heart of the day? When the show needs it later, people will interrupt, but the crowds are being super polite now to avoid spoiling the tension at the wrong time. Hello? Donna? Inspecting the weird noises in your museum when you know weird sh** is going down, instead of getting the hell out before the moon night at the museum can begin. This metaphysical Egyptian demon ghost dog thing is toying with Steven when in a few minutes he will pounce the sh** out of him. Why? <laughs> this metaphysical Egyptian demon ghost dog thing is tricked by throwing a bag, so maybe it's just not all that smart, which makes it hard to care. <laughs> Episode does not contain a blip reference. The thing is, Bob, it's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. And I'm gonna keep doing a boat because they make me feel good. It's not like there's anything in there. The f you say to me, you little s I've been good my entire life. But you one crazy ass bitch. London. Don't know why I'm saying it like that. You sound like you're from London. I take it. That's so strange, sorry, but- The pen that I hold in my hand is royal blue! Fishy! Wake up! Wake up! This is Nanageddon! This is Nanageddon. 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 I don't give the monkeys. Take this downstairs. I can't be bothered! You're not worth the trouble it would take to hit you! Donna? Donna Noble has left the night. Oh, Steven. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Stupid dog! You made me look bad! 